Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at a super solid, sturdy keyboard from ADX. This is the Firefight A04. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video we'll be taking a look at a keyboard from ADX. Now this is the first ADX component I've actually taken a look at on the channel. ADX is a brand which is predominantly owned by PC World in the United Kingdom. So for those of you outside of the UK, then this uh, might be a little bit much for you. But for those of you in the UK and Europe, then you may well find this available in your local high street. So this is ADX Firefight A04. This is a, I want to say membrane keyboard, but it doesn't feel like a membrane keyboard. It does feel very tactile and does feel like it's a mechanical keyboard. Now it isn't, it doesn't have mechanical switches as such, but it does have kind of real nice plungers which give that effect of mechanical typing. Now this is recommended to us by uh, Ugly Bob who sent us this one for review purposes. I was actually a little bit hesitant to review this to begin with because I was thinking, well, I'm kind of used to using mechanical keyboards now. Membrane keyboards have kind of had their day, but this one does look a little bit interesting. And there's a couple of reasons because of that. It has 25 key anti-ghosting, so compatible for gaming, unless you've got uh, way too many digits. Also as well, it's got RGB effects, which we do like here. And also it's got a super solid construction. So let's take a look at the keyboard in depth. We'll go through the color lighting cycles and we'll do some practical tests so you can hear what it actually sounds like. And then I'll come back with my final thoughts. So this is a full size weighted keyboard. Now, a lot of the weight is actually in the deck itself. This top deck here is all done in a very nice machined metal. I believe it's aluminium and it has got virtually zero deck flex. It's almost impossible to wiggle it. It really is very, very substantial. So this is going to be one of those things where even though you're not spending a huge amount on your keyboard, it isn't going to go flying around the desk at any opportunity. It's going to stay firmly planted on your desk. On the bottom of the keyboard, we've got rubberized mounting. So we've got one there, one there, one there, one there on all of the feet. And if you flip it down into the lower platform, there's still the rubbers there as well, which is excellent. Also along this bottom edge, there are some water channel outlets. So if you do accidentally splash this with a little bit of the old uh, Tizer, then you should be absolutely fine. Obviously it isn't designed as being a waterproof or water resistant keyboard, but certainly there is the ability to let water come out so you don't have to take it apart and give it a good clean. Should there be any accidental spillages? The keyboard itself has a, actually a really nice braided cable on here, which normally again for kind of relatively budget keyboards, you don't often see this. So that's a really nice addition. And also there's a gold plated USB type A connector. This is USB type A connection. So you can use it with obviously Windows devices. So Windows 10 backwards compatible and also your Android devices, TV boxes, Xbox 360, basically anything that's got a USB port, this should work. It does adhere to the standard USB keyboard protocols. Now you can probably see already some of the kind of uh, little elements which allow the RGB to spill through. This isn't plugged in at the moment, obviously, so you can't see the lighting. Hopefully you've probably seen it from some of the B-roll already. But you can see pretty much all the way along this edge here where the keyboard stems are. These are all done in a, like a translucent plastic to allow that RGB to come through. And also underneath there is a element as well, which runs around the front, the sides, and all through the back as well, just to let a little bit more of that RGB goodness spill through. Now the keys themselves aren't technically swappable or remo removable, but that doesn't stop us trying. So we'll try and take off the escape key and it does pop off relatively easily. So you've got these kind of square stems on there, which uh, again, I don't think this is a double shot keyboard. It's probably just painted on top, but actually the fact that I'm guessing to myself whether it's double shot or not is uh, probably a good sign. And the, uh, the digits actually do show through quite nicely with the RGB lighting. Again, you can see this square kind of stem, which just pushes into place. And they do sound really nice. It's quite a nice tactile feel to it as well. And because they've got those square stems on them, there's virtually no wobble to the actual keys themselves. So I actually tried this against one of my mechanical keyboards a little bit earlier before we started this video and there is significantly less wobble in the keys than there is on my mechanical keyboard. And I'm not gonna say which brand it is because I don't wanna disrespect the brand, but yeah, this does actually feel a lot more kind of taut and uh, it just feels like a really nice keyboard, which is bizarre. I wasn't expecting it to feel as nice as it actually does. 
part of the way that it actually feels as nice is because the way the keys are all angled. Now from the side view, you can probably see it a little bit better. There's a kind of like a wave effect, which it rises up at the top. It kind of tempers down in the middle section, then comes up a little bit at the end and then kind of evens out towards the front. So there is definitely like a, a wave situation going on. So it's not a, a specifically a flat keyboard, but it does seem to have all the keys in really nice places. And actually just, just tapping away on the keyboard it does feel quite nice. I like the fact that the control key and these lower keys are all kind of rounded off as well. So when you're gaming, when you're using those keys, they're nice and easy and there's no kind of sharp jagged edges on the corners. And the fact that the shift key in this next row up is actually kind of swooped up slightly. Even if you're just touch typing, you can kind of feel the difference in the key angle. So you know roughly where you are on the keyboard, which is excellent. Touch typists are gonna love this. This really is a, a typist keyboard, obviously isn't mechanical but yeah it just feels feels really nice and there's a really nice spring to it the actual depth there's hardly any travel before the actual kind of membrane or whatever it is that's in there actually actuates so it's very solid there's very very little wobble there like i said so there is definitely an indent there where you can actually feel it giving way and i'm actually getting to the point where some of these membrane style kind of mechanical keyboards are actually starting to get to the point where they actually do feel nicer than mechanical switches in some instances which again is one of those things which you really don't expect so anyway, let's uh, listen to some of the keyboard noises so you can see what the uh, the reverb and things like that are like there's virtually no reverb that i can tell so there's none of that ringing noise that you'd get from some mechanical keyboards or even just some cheaper keyboards so It's a very muted sound to it. It's, I really like it, actually. I think for if you're in an office environment or you've got people working around you, this is a very, very nice keyboard. It's not a really offensive sounding, so you could use this in any location and not have any problems. I thought there was a mark on it then, but it's just where the screw is actually down through the deck. So yeah, again, it's all screwed and it's really, really strong. That top deck really does give it uh, some extra weight. And, uh, does feel really really nice so let's plug it in and uh, we'll give you a look at see what the rgb is like the rgb isn't per key it's kind of zonal but uh yeah well we'll see when we plug it in so with it plugged in again studio light so it's not going to be at its best but uh, certainly you can get a, a feel for how it should look i actually think it's a very it's a very well illuminated deck it's a very even very consistent lighting there is a keyboard which you looked at very recently by another brand which Effectively, it's the same specs as this and pretty much the same price as well, but nowhere near as good a quality construction and the lighting on that one was uh, very uneven where it had kind of patches where it was brighter than others. But this does appear to be very nicely done. And actually, if we take a look at the uh, the back of the keyboard, I'll do some close-ups of this so you can see it a little better. You can actually see where the different LEDs are. So there are actually segregations in between. You could almost count the uh, the LEDs behind there. It's actually quite a nice design. I'm really impressed with it. I do like the uh, the kind of rounded look as well, which again, you probably can't see particularly well. You can do from the front there a little bit, but where the stems are, it's all kind of nicely rounded off. Got these circles of uh, illumination. Yeah, I think it's really nice. The uh, kind of underglow effect is really good. And all the characters are perfectly legible. It's actually got a really nice font on this. The font itself, on this QWERTY keyboard, yeah, it's just very, very easy to read, very legible. It's not got any kind of weird quirks to it at all. It just, just looks perfectly natural, which ultimately, unless you're a touch typist, you do want that sort of thing. You do want to be able to actually read what the heck is on the keys, just in case you uh, go wrong, which uh, unfortunately, Kath's keyboard at the moment has got probably about seven keys where they're rubbed off. So Kath might be getting this one. Although it doesn't have a calculator button, so that is a downside. Now there are function buttons on here. So if you want to press the function key and press the F keys, then they double up as they do in kind of windows and various things anyway. So you've got uh, F1 brings up your music, F2, F3, volume up and down, F4 is mute, et cetera, et cetera. You get the general idea. I would have loved to have seen this with additional hardware buttons for bringing up things like the calculator, like adjusting the volume, like muting. Again, it's a relatively cost-effective affair. 
We do have the ADX logo, which is embossed on there. And also you've got individual LEDs for number lock, the caps lock, and also the windows lockout. So you can do function and windows key, and you can lock out that. So there's a little lock logo there. To control the LEDs, you can press on the insert home, page up, page down, delete, and end keys. I'll give you some cutaways of that now so you can see what it goes through. But essentially, the, uh, the buttons are pretty minimal and in terms of the actual RGB effects, there aren't a great deal of effects on here. So you've got your red, you've got your green, you've got your blue, you've got your unicorn puke, and basically on off and a, a few breathing effects. That is it. There's no options for a static white, a static pink, all those kinds of things, which sometimes you'd expect on these type of keyboards that have got RGB. Personally, I think most people probably end up just leaving it in the unicorn puke mode as it comes out of the box, which these days with all the different types of RGB formats on the market, setting it to unicorn puke is normally the safest bet, as you can see behind me. So yeah, actually overall very nice looking. The keys, it's a really, really nice, really nice, sorry windows. It's a, all the keys feel really good. Nice rebound to them, no, uh, no weird ringing in the deck, which I personally do appreciate a lot. Quite often when I'm typing, especially over on my editing desk when I'm answering questions, I'm typing away on a mechanical keyboard and I can definitely hear that distinct ring of the deck and it does get a little bit tiring after a while. So you never know, this might actually replace it and be my daily driver. Who knows, who would have thought it? Possibly one of the cheaper keyboards we've ever seen on the channel and it actually ticks a heck of a lot of boxes. So anyway, let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Is this the sort of thing you'd pick up? Would you use it yourself? Are you someone of a keyboard snob? Are you uh, not prepared to go back from mechanical switches? Actually, I think if you're in the UK, if you're passing by uh, Curry's PC World, if you see one of these on offer, I would strongly suggest picking it up and taking a look. It is considerably better than you think. Anyway, that's my opinion on it. I'd love to know what yours is. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.